Just today, things in this livestream endurance contest by Sam Hyde got so twisted that the police had to step in. Sam Hyde is one of the most dangerous comedians of all time. He has been banned from almost every platform imaginable and has been suspect of multiple terror attacks. His name was released as Sam Hyde. Nikki Samuel Hyde. His latest project is so psychotic it has taken the internet by storm. The project is called Fish Tank, a fully monitored house with contestants streaming live to the internet and one winner walks away with ten thousand dollars this is fish tank you might think this has been done before with shows like big brother where people are locked inside a house for months to drink and fight but we all know that kind of programming is for boomers and babies if you want real drama just wait till you hear what kind of crazy torture Sam Hyde has prepared for the contestants. Already on the first day, Sam Hyde entered the building and made the contestants' lives a living hell by taking a slice of their pizza and hiding it in a jigsaw puzzle box. Now next time someone opens up the box, they will be expecting to see jigsaw pieces, but their mind will be fully f***ed by them seeing a slice of pizza instead. If you thought this was the end of it, Think again. Sam is not your everyday psycho torturer. On top of the slice of pizza, he also pours in some Pepsi. I really hope the one who opens up this trap doesn't have heart conditions or they might just lose their lives from the shock. You would think you'd have to be completely unhinged like the Joker to do something this insane, but reality is stranger than fiction. Since Sam goes above and beyond with his tricks by shuffling the places of items in their fridge, and messing up a notepad. His final and most sickening move of the day also involved a slice of pizza. Now before this, what happened in the basement of Comet Ping Pong during the Pizzagate was the worst pizza related thing to happen, but Sam's final trolling in the house puts all that into shame. I honestly can't even describe it. Just watch for yourself if you dare. Ugh, that's just too much, I have to stop watching this. The worst part in all of this is that Sam is doing these things to completely normal people like you and me. People who just want to sit down and play with children's toys. The house itself isn't just a normal house either. Sam Hyde and his friends went through months of preparation to fill it up with the craziest things imaginable, like fidget spinners and the Guinness World Records of 2009 book. Inside the living room there is also a speaker from where all the people watching can send in messages to drive the people inside crazy. Seven, 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 seven. But to keep the contestants safe from this mayhem, they are monitoring the comments. So if you were thinking of sending in some things that are even more wicked than the number 7, you might get banned. So keep those evil numbers like 69 or 420 to yourself, you psycho. There's human lives at stake here. Sure, there were some hiccups like the mics and cameras being so bad you couldn't see or hear what was happening inside the house. But knowing what's going on is not really the point of a show like this. It's all about watching the action. The stream was running strong for a couple of days with Sam's team keeping the contestants on the edge by torturing them during the night by cleaning up the apartment and taking drinks from the fridge. Until everything fell apart and the stream went offline. But what happened? Had Sam gone too far and the police got involved? Actually, it was due to mismanagement of the website. Instead of having one stream for every camera, they streamed all 10 cameras at the same time to every user, making them use 10 times the bandwidth. The streaming costs went through the roof and they ran out of money. This wasn't the last thing to go wrong, since unlucky for them they opened up the garage door on stream and the hacker known as 4chan was able to match the house by looking at the curvature of the driveway and comparing it to Google Maps. This quickly led to police getting called into the house but Sam was allowed to continue his twisted human experiment. This led to Sam to even himself think that maybe things have gone a bit too far, which is why he decided to give the contestants access to their phones. So now the torture continues for five more weeks in this hellhouse, with the contestants having nothing but each other, endless pizza, games, 
books and their phones. Truly an endurance test that the likes we have never ever seen before.